So that is kind of a curveball to throw at someone when they're when they're prepping for the Packers. They're worried about that game. He's trying to make sure Jared Goff is in his best state of mind for the game, trying to make sure Jared Goff is ready to play the Packers. And that is kind of a, a ball a question out of left field. Because he's right, as a coach, as a player, even for media members, we might not be too worried about the Packers. We're more worried about what they're going to do with the quarterback situation or if they're going to draft the quarterback because that's all we have to look forward to now this year. But as players and coaches on that team, they're still trying to win games. They're still trying to get ready for next week, for this week, against the Green Bay Packers at home. And he, he's a former player, too. So he knows being in that situation, a former quarterback, yeah, being in that situation, you never want to hear, oh, who's your replacement? Who's go- Who are you going to take to replace this guy? So I kind of feel where he's coming from, but also it's like, come on, man, what do you expect? You're one and six. Yeah, it's. Uh, I kind of want to play the video back in, but it's too long. But he gave him that like, what the f- like? Yeah, oh yeah. And he leaned in like, like what? Like. like <laughs> Mark Brunel's ready to whoop some ass. Oh, yeah. video, man. Someone was testing him. Yeah, he was tested, bro. And, and like, I, I don't know, like, how much uh, I didn't look in, into this, but I was told by someone in the back that Mark Brunel, I guess, was missing for like three weeks at at some point during the season this MIA. year. Yeah, just went MIA, which I, nobody wrote about that. I don't know what, obviously, for what reason, but yeah, man. I mean, one, it's the middle of the season, and and I and I get it, right? As a media member, too, like. It is depressing. There is nothing else yes. to talk about. Yes. Really. We have nothing else to look forward to this season. We really don't. We have a number one, number one overall pick, a first-round receiver that we have weighing in the wings. And I'm not even excited to talk about that. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, we really don't have nothing else to look forward to. But it's the middle of the season. That and, like, these guys are, like, they have a close personal relationship. Yes. Like, obviously, Mark Brunel, I don't know for what reason that he missed those three weeks, but it must have been, if it's true, I should say, but it must have been something important. You know what I'm saying? Something that, like, he's obviously probably going through something already, enough to get, pull you away from the NFL. Because coaches, we know, or at least we hear, you know what I'm saying, that the story is, like, these guys don't leave the office. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They're, they're there night in, night out, and all they, oh, I swear, all I think about is you guys, man. <laughs> that's that's, that's the, the stigma around the NFL coaches. And but on top of that, too, like day in, day out, he's with Jared Goff. He is also a former quarterback who was kind of mid at times, you know, saying yes, in his career, too. Yes. So he's had like the backlash to the media. And just like, again, it's a personal relationship. Like, Jared Goff, he's getting married. I, is his wife pregnant? Is, are they having I don't a baby? Know. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm confusing that with Ned. But like, he has that personal relationship with him. He's in there with him day in, day out. And like, he, he feels for the guy. You he know does. What I'm saying? And like, I mean, you love that he has his guys back like that, but I hope he, I hope he knows, like, he out of here. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's, you it's, getting a shiny toy that next year. It's it's somebody you're going to war with, a guy you, like you said, have a very close personal relationship with as the quarterback's coach. Like you said, as a former quarterback himself who was probably asked a couple times, what do you feel about this guy they're going to replace you with? It probably doesn't sit right with him, but... It is a question you can ask at this point because that's what they're looking at. They they do have the number one draft pick if the season ended right now. They do have kind of a hole to fill at quarterback because I, I believe the majority of people believe that Jared Goff is not the answer. So going forward, looking back at it, it might have not been the, good, the best question to ask in – a th- was that yesterday or today? That, that was. was a bl- I have no clue to be honest. With well, you. whether it is one of the last press conferences of the week coming up to a game against the Green Bay Packers, mm-hmm. might have not been the best question to ask. Yeah, you could have. You know, the guy's still trying to fight for wins. 